The Balearic Sea off the coast of the Iberian Peninsula holds the eastern island group Gymnasias, featuring Menorca and Mallorca. Today they are a tourism hotspot, with the islands of this group collectively bringing in 15 million international tourists during 2022. I was lucky enough to visit the island of Menorca without any knowledge of its prehistoric past. As we'd already seen in the series, Mediterranean islands were once host to mini megafauna, such as the Cretan dwarf hippo and the dwarf prehistoric elephants, found in the Miocene and late Pleistocene. Today, most endemic species to these islands are now gone. The most recent elephants died out around 12,000 years ago, spawning legends of the Cyclops in ancient culture. While the many wolves of Sicily have now disappeared, and the Mediterranean monk seals are on the brink of extinction. The immense damage done to the Mediterranean can be illustrated in one case study of the earlier mentioned Mallorca and Menorca. So today we will go into the island's unique animals, how they evolved, and how they went extinct. The origins of the island fauna on Mallorca and Menorca are quite surprising, due to the geological event we now call the Messinian Salinity Crisis, which was caused by the Strait of Gibraltar closing up. This was probably caused by tectonic and glacial changes, which meant that the Mediterranean Sea was isolated from the Atlantic Ocean, and so slowly over thousands of years began to dry up. About five and a half million years ago, the waters were low enough for a group of founding animals to traverse the vast salt flats and desert to the green areas of the Balearic Islands. About 5.33 million years ago, the Atlantic rapidly filled up the Mediterranean Sea in what we now call the Zanclean Flood, a unique end to one of the weirdest eras of the Pleistocene. The mammals left behind found themselves in somewhat of a paradise, with no terrestrial predators, plenty of land, plenty of food, and isolated from any external forces. This led to the process of Isla Gigantism, the other side of Foster's rule. While in island dwarfism, large animals generally evolve smaller bodies, Due to limited resources, it is argued that small animals tend to develop larger bodies due to a lack of predators and more resources. On Menorca, rabbits found themselves with a vast amount of resources, leading to the genesis of the Neuralagus rex, which means the Rabbit King of Menorca, which is a well-suited title for its gigantic weight of 12 kilograms. To give you an idea, the modern domestic rabbit weighs between 2 and 4 kilograms, meaning this animal was three times larger than my childhood rabbit, Flop. Or in other words, the rabbit king of Menorca could literally eat my rabbit. As we've established already, this animal found itself in a complete paradise with no land predators. Though a young Neuralagus rex would have to fend off predatory birds, the adults had no natural predators. Fascinatingly, this lack of predators led to many unique physical traits, such as reduced organs and limbs. Sensory organs, such as its eyes, were reduced in size. In addition, their hearing organs were far smaller, and so perhaps they had smaller ears. It had wacky locomotion with splayed out hind and forelimbs. It was unable to hop or run due to a stiffer spine, probably having a clumsy and slow life lumbering across meadows. One of the researchers of Neuralagus rex, Josep Quintana, described the animal in a Nat Geo article as a beaver outside of water. It was almost like this animal won the lottery, and instead of spending money on cool stuff, it just sat at home eating all day, and eventually turned into some mutant creature that doesn't even resemble a rabbit. The king of rabbits would soon be challenged by another animal. Lower sea levels during the Pleistocene connected the Mallorcan and Menorcan coasts. Lower sea levels during the Pleistocene connected the Mallorcan and Menorcan coasts, which led to the exchange of Mallorcan goats and of course Neuralagus rex. Competition from the Myotragus or mouse goat and other environmental factors led to the disappearance or dethroning of the rabbit king during the early Pleistocene. The Balearic giant Dormouse Hypnomus was a genus of Dormouse with about five species being discovered, originating on the island of Mallorca. It diverged from the common Dormouse about 13 million years ago and found itself on the island of Mallorca about 5 million years ago during the previously mentioned Messinian salinity crisis. So likely, it was descended from a now extinct species of Dormouse, due to this distance in time. 
It later spread to Menorca and perhaps even Ibiza. It had a body length of about six inches, while the common dormouse grows to only a third of that size. Once again, the absence of predators would have helped its size, but unfortunately, it was not immune to predation, unlike Neurolagus rex. Studies have shown the ancestors of Hypnomis and the Dormouse split about 13 million years ago, with them being fairly distant relatives. The fossils found on Menorca and Mallorca show a gradual increase in size and terrestrial traits, such as robust limbs and a slender build. They disappeared due to the arrival of humans about 4,000 years ago, an event which we will explore more later on. The modern shrews are a group of tiny, insectivorous, and sometimes venomous mammals that are distributed almost worldwide. Once again, these animals made it to Mallorca during the Messinian Salinity Crisis, and later distributed to Menorca. The Nesiotites genus would evolve into four species, the largest being Nesiotites hidalgo, which weighed about 26 to 29 grams. For reference, the common shrew weighs about 6 to 12 grams. They were not the biggest shrews of their time, nor are they larger than the mainland northern short-tailed shrew. Once more, this animal disappeared due to human arrival on the islands during the Holocene. In my opinion, the goat antelope Maya tragus is one of the most disturbing and quite frankly ridiculous animals to ever feature in one of my videos. It truly brings doubt to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. Originating in the same way as the other animals, the genus was endemic to Mallorca, but spread to Menorca during the Pleistocene, being a potential factor in the eradication of Neurolagus rex. Its closest living relative is the Himalayan Taken, probably diverging from each other around 7.1 million years ago. Over the 5 million years of its existence on the islands, five distinct species help illustrate the evolution that has occurred. The fascinating adaptations of this animal were once again enabled by no natural predators, leading to specialised features such as 3D vision from forward-facing eyes. This new quality of vision was enabled due to no need to have side-facing eyes to avoid hunting. They look almost cursed, and are quite honestly the stuff of nightmares. One cannot help but draw comparisons to the human face, similarly to how every time I see my friend's cat, I see a human man. Oscar is going to take those values to the White House when he is President of the United States. They made up for the peaceful nature of the island paradise by violently dueling in headbutting fights. The result of these are shown in the damage sustained to their skulls on skeletons. Even with this violence, the pure abundance of resources made these animals have an awfully long lifespan. Some specimens are estimated to have lived into their late 20s, with the oldest being around 27 years old. While modern goats reach sexual maturity, usually within their first year, Myotragus would have to wait 12 years to get busy, due to a far slower and more gradual growth rate. Its unique bone structure made scientists think Myotragus was the only cold-blooded mammal, with many articles online running with this theory. Though later studies have in fact concluded, this is a mistaken interpretation brought on by abnormal growth rates. They had uniquely stubby legs to add to the lower center of mass, probably making them more specialized for climbing down the rocky and unstable grounds of the islands. Myotragus balericus, the most recent species, weighed from 50 to 70 kilograms. The smaller end of the spectrum, Myotragus coprae, weighed only 23 kilograms, showing the more extreme end to insular dwarfism. These dog-sized goats would roam the island until the middle of the Holocene, about 4,500 years ago, and probably went extinct due to the arrival of humans and potential introduction of invasive species. From the rabbit king of Menorca to the ugly-faced goat only its mother could love, this has been one of my favourite island species videos to cover. I really appreciate all of the support this series has gotten, and I cannot wait to bring you more fascinating content soon. Thank you to my awesome patrons, Tobies and Diatrix, and Gojiberry. And thanks again, I, I, I seriously can't believe we reached 28,000 people with that last video. I don't know this video is going to do as well, but I really hope it does, and I really hope you'll enjoy it. Um, you're getting a lot of kind feedback, and it's really nice to, to finally make something out of this channel, you know? And uh, I love you all. Feel free to join the Discord, or maybe even the Patreon, and goodbye for now.